Live from deep in an underground bunker in East Tennessee, this is America's premier mortgage fuel services expert, Paul Williams. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome back to another edition of Foreclosure Pedia Podcast. Foreclosure Pedia Podcast presentation of Foreclosure Pedia Radio Network, which premieres each Sunday evening. <clears throat> We're at the bottom of the hour now. The date is the 19th of November, 2018. I want to talk to everybody a little bit about SSL. <coughs> Excuse me, Secure Socket Layer. What exactly is SSL and why is it important? Well, what it is, is as you can see here, a, a standard layer. Uh, it's a security protocol. And it allows one website to communicate with either another or an entity uh, and say, basically, we are secure. And how exactly does it do it? <clears throat> it uses the browser to see whether or not it trusts the certificate. So what exactly is a certificate and why is that important? Let's come over to Foreclosurepedia as an example. As you can see here, it has a padlock on it. You click that padlock, <clears throat> and it's going to tell you it's secure, how many cookies uh, are in there. What all is going on? So, in essence, no matter what you're doing on a website, if it doesn't have HTTPS, which a lot of National Association of Mortgage Field Services members do not have it, uh, you don't want to be on that website. <clears throat> and it's not just Foreclosurepedia that's telling you that tonight. Uh, Google, for example, here's an example. Uh, going all the way back to 2016, they stated, look, if you do not have SSL uh, proper cert installed, we're going to very clearly tell you that in the address bar. So if you will, <clears throat> this is uh, the ability of Google to force people to go to HTTPS. Here's an example of a website, ABBA Construction. ABBA Construction is, uh, is an entity operated by Tommy Novak. It's a friend of uh, Walter Cole of the Cole team. Mr. Novak, uh, his company is going to run upon the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development uh, marketed and managing field service manager contracts when they open up here within a month. Mr. Novak, though, does not believe <clears throat> that he should have information that is secure. So that's why it's important. Now, what does something like this cost? Normally, it's going to cost you $74. You see, if I wanted to install or renew, it cost me $74. But you know what? What we're going to talk about when we come back is how you can do it for free. Now, I'm a pro developer at GoDaddy, so I just happen to use their services. You can use anybody's service. You simply have to have cPanel to install it. Uh, and you really don't need cPanel. It's the easy way of doing it if you don't know how to code. So we will be right back here in a moment after a word from our sponsors. So we we're talking a moment ago about uh, installing SSL, installing certificates upon your servers. Uh, because A, if you don't, Google is going to say, look, <clears throat> it's not secure. And nobody's going to have faith in you. They're not going to have trust in you. We also demonstrated that they want $100 a year, and <laughs> I'm simply not too much into that. So, what we're going to do, this is it within GoDaddy, we're simply going to manage our hosting, and we're going to pull this up. <clears throat> we are going to kick ourselves over to the cPanel itself. And this is going to allow us to get inside uh, because we're going to have to load some files in. So, for example, we'll go here to File Manager and go. <clears throat> Simultaneously, we're going to open up a website called SSL for free. Now, in this instant case, <coughs> we're going to create and upload 
a new SSL certificate for the International Association of Field Service Technicians. So we will go ifst.org. We want to create that certificate. I happen to be logged in. I recommend you simply log in an account. There's two ways, though, to go about this. Manual verification with DNS, <clears throat> this sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't, and it deals with what's called propagation. I don't want to get too complicated here, but propagation takes some time. I'm not too much into a lot of time, so I'm simply going to <clears throat> excuse me, manually verify the domain because you need to download two files. We're going to go over here and store the file. We're going to download file number two. We're going to come back into our cPanel. Now, as you read through here, it tells you what you need to do. You need to create a folder dot well dash known simply copy come back in here you can create a new folder <clears throat> create new folder then we're going to come in here and we're going to copy uh, and paste acme challenge come back to your cpanel uh, and we're going to create the folder within the well-known create new folder now we're going to open this folder and we're going to upload our two files uh, <clears throat> generally the boolean will pick it right back up we happen to be an ifst here so we're going to type in k y c a it'll pick it up open and i'm going to exit out of there I'm going to upload the other document, which is R8C. There we are. We're in here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reload. I verify I have them both in here. I'm going to come back here. I want to verify. So you can see this long link. I kick it over. It says it's there. I do the next one, kick it over, says it's there. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to download our SSL certificate. This is going to take a couple of minutes depending upon memory and things of that uh, nature within your system and it's developing an actual uh, SSL certificate. Now, so we're here, we have a whole lot of information, do not be afraid of the information. The information will save you. Trust me. <laughs> so I always do two things. First thing I do is that I download all my files to keep them. I don't know if I'm ever going to need them. Rarely do you. But I go ahead and do that anyway. It's inside my folder. I know where to get it. It's no issue. So I'm going to come back into my cPanel. <clears throat> and I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to go ahead and select my SSL right here now many of you uh, already have SSL installed and GoDaddy or whomever is getting ready to hit you for a hundred dollars a year down here install and manage so before I do this, I want to show you. So I have some things in here. For example, it's going to tell you I have a certificate. I can view my certificate. I'm paying $100 for this. Uh, if I come, for example, uh, I load the website. It's going to tell me I have one that's already there. There's not a problem. However, here in a week or so, I have to redo it, and I don't want to redo it. So, <clears throat> we come back to the cPanel. We are going to update that certificate. You see here where it says Certificate CRT? I'm simply going to come back here. Now, remember, when you copy this, you need to copy it all. Simply click Copy. Put it in here. And it tells me right away, Let's Encrypt, which uh, we'll do other 
uh, podcasts on this and such. Let's Encrypt uh, is a huge movement uh, by the internet community to assist everybody in getting HTTPS for free. So I'm going to come down here now. And so anyway, this, this tells me that everything's good. It's saying, hey, your information is good. We have no issues. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to copy the private key. Come here to private key. And I'm going to copy my uh, certificate authority bundle right here. Copy. Paste. Install certificate. That simple. That simple, ladies and gentlemen. And so we know it's working. We know it's running because the system tells us we're all okay here. Let's uh, take a look at it, for example. It's all correct. You see the state right here? So <clears throat> there's a program called CertBot. If you're running your own IP, you have your own server, and uh, virtually anybody but GoDaddy will allow you to run CertBot. This will auto uh, pull the new certificate and install it uh, until the end of the world or your website go, you know, stops and you stop paying the bill. GoDaddy doesn't, uh, doesn't provide that feature. So every 90 days you have to uh, update the process. Pretty cool though because uh, if you create an account which takes you two seconds and it's free, right here at SSL for free, they're going to send you an email a week in advance and say, hey, repeat the process. As you can see right here, it's going to let me know. I run all of mine on here, but let's go ahead and make sure because proof is in the pudding. And there we go. Here we go. Let's look at the certificate. It's accurate. It's valid. There we are. So... <clears throat> You know, I, I want to thank you all for uh, tuning in to another edition of Foreclosure Pedia Podcast. been about uh, SSL certificates. You can see, obviously, Google uh, Chrome, as is Firefox pushing the issue. Now, if you don't have, have HTTPS, uh, they're going to say not secure right in your address bar. There's no point in having to have that error. Uh, and in fact, uh, the NAMP's president, uh, Justice Smith, over at Row Enterprises, you all remember the article I wrote, not even the president herself uh, can seem to get, uh, uh, let's go Row Enterprises, cannot even seem to get HTTPS after we wrote. You can see right here they did. Let's see, though, who did it. They paid the $100. So that actually, and you can see right here, they didn't get it until the 16th of October. Uh, but why pay the 100 Because labor's paying that 100 once again, I'd like to thank you for tuning in for another edition of the Foreclosure Pedia podcast. We'd like to thank our sponsors, and we'd like to thank those that we spoke with at the top of the hour about internet security and why it's so important. Uh, we'll be right back uh, after this a word from our sponsors. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As usual, you may reach me on Google Plus at D. Paul Williams, LinkedIn. Paul Williams and the LinkedIn Group Property Preservation Consortium. Twitter, Foreclosurepedia. We stream all our podcasts on iTunes, Foreclosurepedia. We have our screencasts over on YouTube, the Foreclosurepedia channel, and always at foreclosurepedia.org. We'd like to give a special shout out to Amazon.com, whom provides our S3 podcast and video storage, and Cloudfare for hosting Foreclosurepedia in 24 different geo position servers, pro bono as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to give me a shout out, COO at foreclosurepedia.org.